Pie is the official name for Android's version 9. Now Google has rolled out Android 9 and it puts a lot of focus on artificial intelligence, even your digital well-being. And it comes with some new navigation gestures as well. Now first, keep in mind that Android Pie has officially only rolled out to the Pixel and the Pixel 2 series. The Essential phone also has Android 9, but that's not yet sold in India. However, a long list of devices is going to get the Android Pie update soon. Let's take a look at what Android Pie offers. So let's start with Android P and the navigation gestures. Now this is suited for the taller 18-9 displays. Once you activate gesture in settings, then there's a single home button at the bottom. Gestures is similar to how it works on the iPhone X. One has to swipe up for overview where all recently used apps will appear. Interestingly, the smart text selection feature works in overview as well. For the app tray, a user has to swipe up all the way up and the entire menu appears, though it can be a bit confusing. Also, the Google search bar is now present at the bottom along with a tray of the last used apps. The next big change is the notifications shade which has been completely redesigned on Android P. With machine learning and AI elements, Android P has figured out which notifications I tend to dismiss often and will ask if it can just stop showing them. A lot of users might find this useful. Notifications are richer and cleaner with more details as we can see on this Gmail app. Adaptive battery life and adaptive brightness are the other two big features of Android Pi. For this, Google is relying on machine learning. Keep in mind that you have to go to settings to turn them on. In adaptive battery life, the system will limit battery life for apps used infrequently. It also tells you approximately how long your phone's battery will last. This is based on your usage. Coming to adaptive brightness, the screen's brightness will automatically adjust to one's environment and activities. When it comes to screenshots, Android Pie will now let you edit them natively. So goodbye all third-party screenshot editing apps. The other big feature of Android Pie is digital well-being. Now this will only roll out in the fall and this is all about helping users balance their digital life. Android Pie will show a dashboard where you can track the amount of time spent on the phone, the hours spent on one app and even set daily app limits. We'll have to wait and see if this can curb the Instagram addiction for some of us. Google has tweaked the DND mode as well. It will now block all visual notifications when the screen is on and locked as well. Overall, with Android Pie, Google is really putting a lot of focus on machine learning and artificial intelligence. Now, whether it can actually curb our smartphone addiction is something we'll have to wait and watch.